Hey guys, this is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about three different coin shops in the Chicago area. Should you go to them? Should you not go to them? We're also going to be talking about the pros and cons of each shop and giving them a rating out of 10. Let's get this video started. Alrighty guys, so the reason why we are up in Chicago really is because we're going to an antique convention with my mom and sister and we really wanted to see what Chicago had for us in terms of inventory. And so the first kind of shop we wanted to talk to you guys about was Arlington Coins. Arlington Coins, there was a few pros about them. They had coins priced very well. Uh, they had an interesting character there at the shop. His name was Frank. Uh, he just told you how it was. There's no sugar coating, anything. Uh, if you ask him about anything in life, he was super honest about it. I like those kind of people. I don't know about you. And he was pretty resourceful. He liked to give us information about uh, who to contact for certain things, but also who to visit in the area. So we didn't waste our time because there's a lot of great shops and there's a lot of bad shops. But let's talk a little bit about what Frank got for us and what we bought from him. Um, right here, this is a 1883S Morgan Dollar. This one is graded MS60. And as you guys know, the S mint uh, is a little bit tougher, especially in mint state in the in the uh, in the 80s. And so, when I was uh, taking a look at this coin, it is CAC approved. It's got really nice luster. No distracting spots about the coin. You're not going to see too many of of these out there. And if you guys want to see more images of our stuff, it's going to be on AcousticCollectibles.com. But a really nice piece. And something that a guy told me recently is that a lot of coins are kind of birthed out of the north. They like to uh, make their way out of old collections and a lot of these shops end up picking them up and sending them into NGC or PCGS. A good example of that is this 1837 $5 gold classic head. Um, this, this is really a beautiful piece here. This is um, from, like I said, 1837, but it's created AU55, a really stellar example. And what Frank told us about this coin is it basically came in through the shop raw and he submitted it. And this is one of the better type of coins that he had left. I think there's around 250,000 or a little bit more of these that were minted. And a lot of these just don't come up for auction very often. So when you get an opportunity to buy great coins like this, it really is great to be able to do so. There's a few other coins that we got as well. We got a really tough date barber uh, quarter. This is an 18, I'm sorry, a 1913S barber quarter grade AG3. And most people would say, man, that looks like a coal or it's not very impressive. But just the date itself becomes very expensive. And this one uh, we bought for about 800 bucks and sold for about 900 bucks. So uh, just, you know, better date type of coins like this really do uh, have a place in people's hearts. And Frank bought this coin probably pretty cheap and ended up giving us a good deal on it. So very thankful for that. And bought kind of just an average SLQ here, a 1928 graded AU58. Nothing too special about this coin, but Frank had it priced pretty cheap. And SLQs, I mean, they travel quickly. And so a few other coins that we got from Frank, though. Um, we got a lot of these walkers, nothing that I'm going to really show you guys. Like I said, it's going to be on our website. Just got a whole bunch of early date walkers and AU and XF, well, one in fine 15. Nothing too crazy here, but I like to buy these for the website because there's a lot of people working on walker sets. And a lot of these dates sometimes get really expensive, especially in XF and VF. And so finding some that are pretty cheap is pretty awesome. A couple of drawbacks from his shop, um, there is kind of a lack of inventory. So if you were to go there several times a week, you wouldn't really find too many examples to choose from. I think we bought up a lot of the nicer stuff out of his shop and um, you know it's something that you would probably want to visit every few months instead of every few days. Another thing that you should consider is calling before you go because he is trying to live uh, you know life on the edge and have some fun. He wants to go golfing or he wants to go check out some houses that he might do collections at and so sometimes he's not in the shop and you have to kind of check before you go and sometimes that's a drawback for you. Uh, we would rate this uh, coin shop 7.3 out of 10 just shooting from the hip we really do enjoy Arlington coins. So I was saying early in the video there are good shops and there are not so good shops and so sometimes when you're in the area and you don't have the best information you go to shops that you aren't really a fan of, you weren't treated right and we went to a shop it was named Distinctive Coins. We're just giving our honest review of them and the service that we received there. 
Uh, distinctive coins, when you came in, no one really greeted you. It was kind of, uh, they're looking at you like, you know, sometimes you just don't get that customer service that you would want at a, at a coin shop. And so a few kind of drawbacks for us about that shop is that they go off eBay to price most of their coins. And doing so, it really doesn't give anybody that wants to buy from them any type of premium. And it's just not kind of the best deal when you go into those shops. Um, a few things also to, to be considerate of is that if you wanted to buy five or six coins in there, it might take you an hour. They, they take 10 minutes each time to price a coin. And that, that for us is a little bit slow. We want to spend our time useful, uh, make our time useful in Chicago. And that kind of bothered us. And another big issue that we had at the shop is that he would come out with a price on a coin to see if you were knowledgeable enough. He was basically trying to size you up and see what you would pay. And so the example that I wanted to give you guys is that we wanted to buy this 1880s Morgan dollar. It's great. MS61, right? Nothing too crazy. It's, uh, I think it sheets for about 60. And we thought this one would gold CAC, which he doesn't know anything about CAC, which is great. It's something that we uh, try to pride ourselves on here at Acoustic Collectibles. But he came to me when price uh, of sheet is 60 on this coin, and he said, a hundred bucks. People are, the demand is crazy for these right now. And, you know, he's basically looking off of eBay. And I ended up getting him down to 75 because basically, like I said, he's coming out, he's seeing what you will pay. He's trying to get the most for his buck. And so sometimes um, going into a shop like that, people sizing you up, it just doesn't make you feel comfortable. Like I say, if you're going to a grocery store and you want to buy mac and cheese off the shelf, you want a guaranteed price that you're going to pay for it. They're not going to look at you up and down and say, how hungry is he? Or, you know, what, how much extra can we charge this guy? For me, that just doesn't feel like a great service to have. Um, a, a cool a kind of plus about this store is that they didn't really know how to price this 1887 proof seated quarter. So we got a relatively good deal on this coin and, uh, you know, trying to pass it on to somebody else. It's toned on both sides, but uh, we'll have some more images, like I said, for you at AcousiaCollectibles.com. And uh, a question that people would have is, would you go back to the shop, Drew? And I personally would say no. I think there's a lot of other shops in this area that would help you with your collection or help you with your inventory. And Distinctive Coins receives a 2.8 rating out of 10. So the last shop that we wanted to discuss in this video is Morton Grove Coin and Currency. They are located uh, right here if you guys want to check them out. David Fishman has bought a few coins from us. And a really great pro about their shop is they pay pretty strong for each coin. And so we ended up going in there doing a little business, which is really great. And then we ended up buying a few coins from them because they end up getting a lot of great uh, better date type of coins that we're going to show you here in just a moment. Another th great thing about their shop is that they're very personable and they're helpful. They want to show you anything that they can. Uh, they love talking about shows that they've just been to. It really gives you that coin shop type of feel. Uh, they're online as well. You can reach out to David Fishman. I can leave his information down below if you ever wanted to sell him a coin. Um, and they have a lot of better dates. They have a lot of things, like I said, that uh, most coin shops wouldn't have because sometimes they might price them too cheap. And so, like I say, when they pay strong for coins, they're going to want strong for coins. So a drawback of their shop is they're, they're going to want a premium over other shops. But the cool thing about it is that when you go in there, you can see a lot of great better dates and you can actually put those in your collection, but you have to pay a premium. So that's just something for you guys to consider when you're going into their shop. Uh, here's a few things that we picked up from them. This is a 1917 Obverse Walking Liberty Half. It's great AU55 by PCGS. Just a tougher date early walker. And so something that we, would be great to offer to you guys. And that's why we bought it. Don't see too many of these that often. A lot of them are going to be in the $1,500 or more range in MS. And so... That's just something that we, you know, when we run across them, we try to pick them up. Uh, a better date of the series here, this is a two cent piece. It's an 1864 small motto. The small motto, uh, you know, offers a bigger premium. And so that's why we picked it up. A lot of uh, collectors of two cent pieces are going to be looking for this coin. And, uh, you know, Morton Grove had that for us. And the last coin I want to show you from Morton Grove, which is arguably one of my favorites, um, is a 1937D uh, three-legged buffalo. It's great XF45, you know, everything's present on the coin, really great detail. Nothing's happened to it with, you know, any damage or anything like that. Just a really nice XF example. And so very happy with 
the experiences that we've had so far this week. Three different shops, and uh, I hope you guys learn a little bit from this. Morton Grove, if we were to come back to the city, we would definitely visit them again. I think they have a lot of great coins that come into the shop, and you have an opportunity to pick those up. We would rate them 7.2 out of 10, just uh, including all those variables there. And we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want us to do more videos like this in the future, when we go to different cities, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on uh, maybe a coin shop that you've been to recently. Give a review on them. What do you guys think about these shops? Have you been to these ones before? Uh, and also subscribe if you're new. We got new videos coming out every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So stay tuned for those. And we will see you guys in the next video.